the, the story behind it all is my father was a real estate developer and uh, built everything from office buildings to restaurants in the city of Detroit. He got contacted, now I'm going back, way back, uh, by my cousin who was in Windsor, who was interested in building a thoroughbred racetrack. So we were already a little bit used to my father coming up with strange ideas and things that he wanted to develop. And my father was involved in financing Windsor Raceway, which was very successful. And Windsor Raceway had the right to run thoroughbred racing in the wintertime. And they were looking for some activity in the summer because they had the facilities, they had the staff, and it was his job as vice president of the track to try to look at, at the thoroughbred track, look at what the opportunities might be. And he came up with auto racing. And it was really probably nothing more than the thoroughbred track was oval and auto tracks are oval and he took a look at doing it and started to discover what auto racing really was. The board of the Windsor Raceway didn't want to go forward with auto racing and he decided that it was, he got really excited by a track. Um, you know, it's pretty obvious that auto racing should be in Michigan. This is where car companies are from. Uh, they were the major sponsors of NASCAR racing way back when. It was Ford, General Motors, there was a company called American Motors back then. Um, Chrysler, so it was really important that auto racing come to Michigan and it was his idea to build a racetrack out here. 